Binge the full week of The Ray Taylor Show ad-free over at InspiredDisorder.com slash plus. This is The Ray Taylor Show. Ray's Days, episode 199. This is a weekly diary podcast hosted by me, Ray Taylor. Every Saturday, I share updates on my journey as an artist, podcaster, business owner, and human being. I'm excited to share my experiences with you and hope that my journey can serve as a source of inspiration and positivity for you. In this episode, I am talking about many different things. Uh, It's mostly personal stuff, not a lot of business updates going on, uh, but stuff that I've been, what I've been watching, and I'm going to talk about that, Uh, just talk about this week's productivity, uh, trimming my dog's toenails, uh, the dry air that I'm dealing with, and I turned 43 years old this past week. I'm talking about a couple dreams I was able to remember and write down because I've been having crazy dreams lately. I'm also going to be talking about my mental health as I do, and as always, at the end of every episode, I will be talking about something that I am thankful for. Let's take a short break from this episode. Hey, loyal listeners of The Ray Taylor Show. I know it's one thing to tune in and engage with the content that I passionately create for you. But what if I told you there's a way to wear your fandom? Introducing our exclusive line of merchandise inspired directly by the vibes and visuals of this very podcast. From the stylish t-shirts that'll make you stand out in the crowd to our eco-friendly biodegradable phone cases adorned with artwork inspired by the show. You can now carry a piece of the Ray Taylor show wherever you go. Whether you're looking to make a fashion statement, protect your phone with some flair, or simply want to show off your love for the show, our merchandise has got you covered. Ready to rock our gear? Head on over to InspiredDisorder.com and get yours today. Wear the show. Be the vibe. Now let's get back to the show. So what I've been watching, I've been watching a lot of movies uh, and TV shows, actually, most of which are, I mean, most of the movies are for an upcoming top five. I'm going to be doing uh, my top five New Year's movies that will be coming out next week. Uh, But I've been watching a lot of other shows. Not sure which ones I will be reviewing or not, but there's a lot of great shows going on. One of them is The Curse which is a very weird show, uh, very weird show with Nathan Fielder from The Rehearsal. Um, great, interesting, weird show. I am I'm just I keep watching it just because I want to know where it's going to go about this couple who are doing like a like a fixer upper type of a show. It would be, you know, like we renovate, we flip homes kind of a thing, but they're flipping homes, making them. Uh, passive homes is their big thing. Um, but, uh, it's much darker than just that. It's a very interesting show. I've also been just watching, started watching this Korean reality show called the devil's plan, which I think is on Netflix. Uh, and like all of the contestants are like super smart people. Like there's some actors, there's some YouTubers, but they're all like scientists and like well-educated people. And they play like these, uh games intelligence based games uh which involves strategy and all kinds of different things very interesting show i like it it's dubbed which is nice i don't a reality show i don't i'm not looking to read subtitles on a reality show i don't i'll do the dubbed i'm not looking for performances in this uh so i enjoy that started watching that uh, also been watched binge the first season of Colin in accounts, which is a show that make, make you think it's like the office or something, but it is not. It is an Australian comedy about these two strangers that come into their life due to an unexpected accident that happens that brings them together, uh, and, uh, how they deal with it. I love it. I th- great show. Uh, apparently, there's going to be a second season, which I'm I'm very happy about. It kind of reminded me reminded me of the show Platonic that's on Apple TV Plus, uh, but better, but better than that one. Uh, but Colin and Accounts is great, and I've been binging uh, season one, and I'm almost done with season two of the Apple TV show Invasion, 
which is about an alien invasion and like the struggle to figure out how to defeat the aliens um very interesting very smart i i really enjoy the show um so i've been re-watching that one and then i've wanted to but haven't yet because i am going to review it for all mankind uh because the show isn't finished until mid-january there's a few of these shows aren't finished till mid-january so uh i'm kind of waiting so i can just binge it all in one foul swoop uh and i'll have a review for that show when it comes out because i love for all mankind and i've literally started and stopped the first episode of season four i don't know five times and each time i'm like i i don't want to get into this right now i want to binge it so I'm, I'm trying to hold off uh also this week uh i had kind of a productive day monday felt good woke up not feeling like i was getting sick for once which was good um despite the fact that my roommate and her kid are both sick or were sick thankfully they got over it pretty quick uh like i said trimmed my dog's nails which is always a huge pain in the ass uh my dog izzy is old um so i don't we don't go on walks like we used to in denver we would go on like three to five mile walks every day so just the process of going on walks would wear down her toenails uh so now i have to trim them which means that i have this harness that i use to put her in and i have a muzzle and it's just it's just such a pain i hate it she hates it um but uh was able to get that done i'm trying to do that more regularly because i like do it pretty regularly and then i kind of fall off and then they grow too much and then it's a big hassle um but yeah just the whole thing is i feel bad i feel bad i need to do it she hates it but like i have to do it and it just i just feel like shit doing it um also because it's been cooling down in the desert the air has been extra dry and in a way that like the air in denver was very dry uh to the point where like i would wake up and my tongue felt like sandpaper but for whatever reason when i wake up like in this dry air like i can feel that my throat is dry like i i feel it all throughout everything when i wake up and it is kind of a bummer i'm going to be getting a humidifier here soon to hopefully that will help uh reduce that feeling but just kind of crazy how i thought the worst dry weather i've had to deal with was in denver and for this to be it's like something i've never experienced before even when i even previous years i don't know very weird uh also this past week as i mentioned it was my 43rd birthday uh and uh i've been kind of struggling this time of year this year regardless the holiday season is usually tough for me i think last year was kind of the easiest i've taken the holiday season but this year has been tough i've been very depressed i mean i've been kind of all over the place mentally and uh so on my birthday i was pretty sad and depressed all day um which they kind of tend to be anyway like you know kind of reflecting on this the stuff just all of the people that have been in my life th over the years and how they're all living their own lives and i i don't seem to be somebody they think about anymore which is fine um but you know i'm dwelling on that the whole day uh you know and of course i my mom passed away this past year which despite the fact that we weren't close it's just th i'm thinking about that a lot especially during the holiday season she loved the holiday season and of course my birthday is right next to christmas so there's pretty intertwined there and it's just you know all of the typical depressing stuff like how little my life matters like what am i even doing with my life uh like the impact of the things that i do does anybody even notice or care 
but I decided to just kind of just drink all. I just started the day off with uh, just drinking beers. I, I got a 12 pack of beers and just started the day drinking beers and uh, uh, ate some good food and watched started watching invasion on apple tv and i just pretty much watched that show all day um in order well i watched the first season in order to refresh because there's a season two that came out that ended in october so i was like sweet i'll be able to watch all that and i remember liking the first season uh and did again in the rewatch it's a very interesting show um, so I watch that. And then as I do kind of the traditions I do, which I added one this year, uh, which maybe I did last year as well. Um, when one of my birthdays, when I was living in San Diego, I was probably turning, you know, 24, 25. It was one of the last times I had like a birthday party. All of the friends came over to the apartment and we watched movies and made great food and hung out. And we went downtown to the the yard house and got wasted. And just a really fun time. And one of the things we did to finish that night was I'm a huge Red Hot Chili Peppers fan. They're my favorite band. And they put out a live concert live at Slane Castle. Um, and... I have over the year that's kind of been something that I watch which now it's available on YouTube 4K high quality so I don't need I don't have the DVD anymore but it's available which is nice uh it'd be nice if I could purchase it I would be I'd like to have it like through Apple or whatever but at least it's available uh in high quality on YouTube and uh so I watched that which I love. It's such a great live performance from them. Um, and then I also watched Bo Burnham's Inside, which is a piece of art that I've watched I don't know how many times. Um, and it's something that usually makes me feel happy when I watch it. And uh, by that time, I was pretty drunk, so I don't really remember it. Um, and the only other tradition I have when it comes to my birthday is uh, cheesecake. Uh, it's cheesecake has always kind of been my cake that I like on my birthday. And one of my ex-girlfriends used to make probably the best cheesecakes, very unique style of cheesecake. Um, these days I pretty much just buy something, whether it's frozen or pre-made, whatever, uh, which is what I did. I got like a, from Walmart, they got these like four slices of different varieties of cheesecake so not a whole cheesecake as i'm realizing i'm about the heaviest i've ever been in my entire life um but yeah uh definitely not a good day <laughs> it was I mean, it was a good day but i was just very depressed all day long and uh the next day i pretty much slept a lot didn't really do a lot of stuff um and then today i'm feeling pretty good Today I'm feeling pretty good and getting stuff done and uh, I'm kind of looking past that, you know, plans on uh, not drinking as much anymore uh, as I have been. I've just kind of once my mom like I wasn't drinking, I rarely was drinking uh, for like a year and a half, two years. Um, and then my mom died and then I started drinking again and um you know, during the holiday season, definitely drinking a lot more. Um, and I want to just go back to not doing it, you know, if maybe here and there once, once every, every once in a while. Um, but just not have it as something that I always have on hand. Um, cause there's things I want to get done. It doesn't help with my productivity. It doesn't help with a lot of things. Um, and also with, I've gained a bunch of weight since I started drinking again. Um, so, you know, cut that out. I'm doing some other stuff uh, in order to kind of get healthy again. Because I was starting to lose weight and I was feeling good and I was able to get a lot of stuff done. Still dealing with mental health stuff. It's not like it, it it's, uh, you know, it cured any of my 
mental health issues, but it doesn't help any. So that's one of the things kind of st- almost starting my new year early as I tend to do, you know, the birthday being in December, uh, it, it almost acts as a new year for me, um, instead of, you know, waiting till the typical new year. So we'll see how that all pans out. I've said many times on here, all of the plans I've had to get healthy. Um, but I think I, you know, it, these are going to be some cutting out the drinking, um, getting my portion sizes right with, I got this meal delivery thing. Um, I'm doing the intermittent fasting stuff. So we'll see how that goes, which all these things I've done before. So just kind of getting everything back on track and then also doing some working out, getting back in shape, getting strength again. Let's take a quick break from the show. Listeners, are you ready to take your experience with the Ray Taylor show to the next level? Dive into Inspired Disorder Plus for just $5 a month. You unlock a world of premium content that's sure to satisfy your every entertainment and artistic craving. Imagine enjoying the Ray Taylor show, a full week completely ad-free in both audio and video formats. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Get exclusive access to the live painting archive, be the first to lay eyes on new releases from the many faces, and enjoy members-only discounts and deals that'll have you coming back for more. With a treasure trove that includes a podcast back catalog of boasting 14 unique shows and over 600 episodes, personal insights through Ray Taylor's own blog, that is me, creative writing to spark your, spark your imagination, and an interactive Ask Me Anything section. Inspire Disorder Plus is a feast for the curious mind. Get ready to elevate your entertainment game. Head on over to inspiredisorder.com slash plus and become a member of an exclusive club. Dive in, indulge, and inspire your senses. Now let's get back to the show. Also, I've been having crazy dreams. You know... Usually when I'm not drinking, I have crazy dreams, but despite drinking, I'm still having crazy dreams. I don't know if it's because I'm taking these mushroom supplements or if it's because I'm taking these nighttime supplements that have like 5-HTP and magnesium and all these different uh, things. Melatonin supposed to have give you crazy dreams, Um, but I've been having crazy dreams. So what I've tried to do is if I can remember to write them down so I could talk about them on the show. So a couple of the dreams that I was able to remember and write down, uh, one of which was I was dreaming I was watching a movie, but I was actually inside the movie, almost like it was a VR experience, right? And I could just walk around wherever I wanted to, right? And I knew it was a movie, so it's almost kind of kind of like I was, uh, you know, um, in control. But I could walk around and see the events of this movie from whatever angle I wanted to. Um a lot of this movie I don't really remember, but that was a, a big aspect of it. But I do remember that it w- that Barry Pepper was in this movie, which is like an actor I never think of. And he was wearing like really bad beard makeup and was giving a really weird performance. Uh, so I don't know why Barry Pepper was in my movie. Uh, but the end of this movie that was in my dream was about this older guy who somehow was able to get all of his friends and family to go to a theme park or like an amusement park right like i don't know if this guy i didn't know the i don't know the whole story leading up to it but it's this guy who got all of his friends and family to go to this amusement park or theme park and on this one specific ride he went he has a chair set up kind of in the setting so like the way i thought about it like it was like uh mr toad's wild ride right people are on a cart on a track and then you look around and there's scenery around you he was part of the scenery and he was part of the scenery where people are coming out from around a corner and then kind of take a hard turn and would be able to see him right and he sees them as they come out through this this hard turn right so he's sitting inside one of these rides where he could see the people coming around this corner and sees everybody all of his friends and his family on this ride laughing having fun when the, they see him they're like oh it's blah 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 it's, it's him 
and they're all having fun and he's having fun right they could just see him chilling on this like lawn chair or whatever while they're all riding this ride and that is where this old man dies not he wasn't even that old right he was like a you know maybe like in his 50s or 60s uh bigger guy right and he dies passes away watching all of his friends and family have a great time on this ride for him and like the idea was that he ha- he died happy and laughing along with all of his friends and family and that was like the dream i had <laughs> and then i woke up and i was like super depressed i was like it's really like and then i looked looked up and like tried to see if it was an actual movie because it felt so real felt like it just felt like i was remembering a movie and but was in it you know because i was dreaming i put myself in it uh but yeah it's not as far as i could tell it's not uh it's not a real movie if it is and you know let me know but uh, it was crazy. So another mo- another dream that I was uh, having, I was at like a party. I don't know if it was like a holiday party, I think. And Adam Savage was there from Mythbusters, which I've been watching Mythbusters uh, over the past few weeks, kind of in the background. Um, so he was there. And it's his Christmas party. And I- he was wearing these like crazy glasses, like these large sunglass exaggerated sunglasses and i'm talking to adam savage about how i get ads on instagram all the time for these crazy sunglass companies uh that make crazy sunglasses and i'm trying to explain what the sunglasses look like that i i I was looking at and even mentioned like oh now that i'm talking about instagram sunglass ads we're probably both going to be getting Instagram sunglass ads because our cell phones are listening to us. But just having this conversation, trying to explain to Adam Savage these crazy sunglasses that I almost have purchased on many occasion. Because uh, if they hit you right, sometimes those ads on social media, when they hit you right, they're like, man, maybe I should get that. But yeah, that was another dream that I had, talking to Adam Savage about sunglasses. Very weird. Um, but mental health update, obviously mentioned earlier, depressed. Uh, I just, I think a lot of that drinking has not been helping. Uh, I just need to go back to where I was earlier in the year, right? Just drinking, you know, maybe having a drink every few months, um, or not at all. It, you know, I, I didn't need it. I was pretty, pretty fine. Like I, I know I have, I'll have no problem not drinking, because I've done it before and it's like I know how kind of I don't have that pull but it's just been I don't know it's just been this year it's been kind of like uh who gives a fuck like just I just I just don't care just give it to me I, I don't want to I want to be sedated I don't I don't want to just exist right now um also need to adjust my eating which you know, when I'm drinking a lot, that contributes a lot to eating. Like I get a weed is one thing, but booze, if I'm drinking, I need to be eating. Like it makes me so hungry when I'm drinking alcohol. So that'll just not drinking will help curb my appetite um, along with doing the intermittent fasting that I'm doing and starting to do. And then hopefully also, you know, start working out and stuff like that. Right. At least making more of an effort. Keep trying keep trying i'm not giving up keep trying uh you know considering i haven't had much motivation to do anything uh as it is through uh the thought just the thought of adding something to the mix is just so unlikely um in like working out or just uh, cutting things out is is kind of where i'm starting before starting to add things into it little gnat here that's bugging me but yeah so mental health not that great but i'm hopeful i'm hopeful uh and since i'm hopeful i want to touch on something that i am thankful for as i do at the end of every episode uh mention something highlight something that i've been thankful for this week and this week i am very thankful for podcasts in general 
not a specific podcast, but just podcasts in general kind of make me feel like I'm not alone. You know, like I'm passively hanging out with friends. Uh, many of the podcasts, not I mean, the podcasts, I don't listen to many podcasts anymore. Uh, but the few that I do that are great for this uh, screen drafts where they rank move competitively, competitively, collaborative movie ranking. Great movie talk. I love the hosts. I love all the guests. All fantasy everything. Another show where they fantasy draft anything and everything from pop culture uh it's three comedians usually with a guest um and they ra they rank things like they ranked the suburbs this past episode they've ranked things like taco bell menu uh they've ranked things like uh action movie tropes or just movie tropes in general uh it's a, a fun show i love those guys uh, that's one that's the show i list to most when i paint live also, Doug Loves Movies, another great one. Movie a trivia game show hosted by Doug Benson, a stand-up comedian. Usually gets comics and actors on uh, to play movie trivia games. Also, The Dollop, uh, Gareth Reynolds and Dave Anthony. Uh, it's a history podcast with a lot of like comedy added into it. Well-researched history podcast, by the way, when they give the references at the end of every episode. Um, and of course, the Slash Film Cast, or the Film Cast, I should say, uh, which is a movie review podcast that I love, that I've listened to since like 2008. It's uh, those those podcasts are really kind of like my sanity. They they keep they keep me sane for the most part. And Douglas Movies was a major part of helping me in Denver, where I was dealing with like a lot of stress and anxiety. Uh, just really going back and re-listening and re-listening to old Doug Loves Movies episodes. Um, but yeah, they I, I, I love podcasts for their ability to do that and to be that for me. So this week I am very thankful for podcasts. Upcoming events. I'm still on hiatus with the live painting, which I will come back to in the new year. But you can check out my artwork that I have in a museum. From now until January 27th, I will be I'm part of the Desert Views exhibit at the La Quinta Museum in La Quinta, California. So you can go there and check that out. The artist reception for that event will be January 20th, where you can come by and check out and meet all the artists, including myself. Uh, you can go to inspireddisorder.com uh, inspireddisorder.com slash events for details on all of my upcoming live and local events. I'm also very thankful for the opportunity to connect with all of you through this podcast and for the chance to share my journey with you. Please join the conversation by leaving a comment or rating on your favorite podcast platform or over on youtube.com slash inspired disorder. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next Saturday for another episode of Ray's Days. Subscribe to the Ray Taylor show on YouTube and everywhere podcasts are found. Binge the full week ad-free over at InspiredDisorder.com slash plus. Purchase Ray Taylor Show merch over at InspiredDisorder.com. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace out. Today, Today is, is the, the day, day where, where you wake, wake up and you realize, and realize that everything, everything that you've been dreaming about, everything that you've been wanting, every goal and wish and hope that you've ever had can become real. Dreams can come true. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality.